So good morning guys. Uh, this is our first topic on electronics one. So we will refer to our um, canvas which is on electronics one page and our discussion will be so my discussion will be on the explore of the module. So we'll just uh, scroll on the module and click explore. So you'll find the topics in there. So our first topic is all about the semiconductor materials and specifically the topic is atomic bore model. So the atomic bore model was proposed by Neil Bohr. So this is this guy. So this guy Neil Bohr. So he developed this model which is atomic bore model. Since the atomic structure of an atom is very complicated, so this guy simplify the model of an atom to make it more simpler and easy to understand. So he developed this one in 1915 <coughs> and he called this one, this method, atomic bore model. So the atomic bore model is composed of the the center, so the middle, uh, this is the structure of an atom. So if this is an atom, so this the this middle is composed of the so this is the proton and the neutron. So this is the nucleus of an atom. So this is the nucleus, and then in the nucleus the proton as well as the neutron so the particle that orbits the center of the atom these are the this one these are electrons electrons so these rings are called shells so these are called shells these rings and the electron is orbiting these shells. So this is the model of a, the more atomic bar model. So it's very very simple but if you go beyond this model so it's very very complicated. So the last shell is called so the last shell this is called the valence shell. And the last electrode or the electron that is that orbits the valence shell is called the valence electron. So in electronics, the valence electron will be our concern. This will be the most important thing in the atomic bore model since we'll be um we'll focus more on this valence electron since uh, most of the electronic devices is based on this valence electron as well as the valence shell. So if you go to the explore, so as you can see, um, there are valence electrons, so a single electron or one of two more electrons in the outer shell. So this is the outer shell or the valence shell an atom that is responsible for chemical properties of an atom so the chemical properties of an atom will be determined by the numbers of valence electron that is present on the outer shell or the valence shell say for, say for example um, example this one So, example, uh, if this is an atom, say, this is silicon atom. So, silicon atom has a 14, has an atomic number of 14. Number of 14. So, if it has atomic number 14, the number of electrons that orbits its shell also number of electrons 
is also equal to 14. And also the number of protons also is equal to 14. So if at its atomic number is equal to 14, so I mean the, num the total number of electrons that orbits this shell will be equal to 14. So if you count all of the electrons orbiting this shell, um, it will be a total of 14. So for example, if this is the electron atomic structure for silicon, so we have a formula which is equal to the number of number of electrons that orbits per shell so the formula will be this one this will be equal to 2 times n squared where n is the shell number and so this is how you compute the number of electrons per shell so if we take silicon as our example so if if this is the silicon so if this if this is the first shell this is the second shell so at first shell so where n is equal to 1 so therefore the number of electrons per shell so let's just abbreviate this one eps will be equal to 2 times 1 squared so therefore the number of electron per shell will be equal to so this is just equal to 2 so meaning the first shell the number of electrons at the first shell is equal to 2 so these are now we have now 2 so at the second so at n equal to 2 so therefore the number of electrons per shell is equal to 2 times 2 squared so this will be so so 8 so the number of electrons the second shell will be equal to 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have now eight shells at the eight electrons the second shell and two electrons at the first shell so we have now 10 total electrons so we need we have four locking so we need the third shell so if at the third shell at n equal to 3 so meaning electrons per shell is equal to 2 cubes this is 9 so this is 18 so the number of electrons per shell is equal to 18 so since we need only 4 so just put 4 electrons so if we have now total electrons so we have now at first shell we have 2 at the second shell we have 